All the indications are that Russian morale is rock bottom, uh, whereas the Ukrainian tails are very firmly up. They've given us a masterclass in operational design, operational maneuver, uh, and, and operational art. And uh, providing the West continues to provide the support necessary and indeed ramps it up, uh, the Ukrainians, I think, will achieve their military objectives. whatever they need to do to, to, to beat the Russians with. I, I think there's no, any sort of in, distinction between offensive and defensive weapons is utterly invidious. They should be given all the capabilities required for offensive, uh, offensive maneuver. So that's uh, offensive land maneuver, tanks, armored infantry fighting vehicles, the en armored engineers, the air defense. I should they, they need aircraft as well, of course, uh, as well as the long range pre precision missiles and, and long range artillery which has already had a significant effect on the Russians. But they also need the, the continued support in terms of cyber and intelligence and targeting. Give them the tools to do the job and they will do the job. Of that, I have no doubt. We have to recognize we need to be ready for war. In a sense, we really are at war already and we've got to be ready for it. And that means investing in the equipment, the spares, the logistics, the ammunition. That means tooling up industry to churn out the capabilities required. A huge amount of weaponry, anti-tank missiles, artillery ammunition, um, uh, long-range artillery missiles and the like have been given to Ukraine. Those not only need to be replaced, but we need to have war stocks uh, in our own force as well. And I suspect if you've dug into the detail in the Ministry of Defense, we are woefully short. The, the, the requirement for the traditional components of offensive maneuver on land, particularly tanks, armored infantry fighting vehicles, artillery, missiles and the like, has not gone away. But it's more complex than that. And we've now seen a drone war, an anti-drone war, the use of autonomous vehicles, the autonomous systems, uh, the requirements to, to counter those. So all this needs to go into the mix and be looked at objectively in order to build the, the force that we need to fight 21st century warfare.